Hi. Now, in this particular chapter, we are going to cover a very important concept of HTML5 that is indexed DB. As the name says DB, definitely it's going to behave as a database. So basically, let's see what it's going to do. It actually stores the data in a JSON format that is JavaScript object notation and further it can be retrieved. So basically JSON, when you work with JSON storage, it is a non-relational database like it will not take a typical SQL data, SQL query or SQL syntax for uh, any particular operation but it will has its own way of doing the things which we will see during the implementation. So let's see what it's saying. This index DB was earlier known as web simple DB or nowadays it's also called index database API. All right. So this API helps us to store the large amount of data in the JSON format. All right. That I said JavaScript object notation. Basically nowadays whenever you work with any of the JavaScript related technology, JSON is a very popular format. Like if you work with the Node, Angular, React or any particular format of JavaScript, it will use this JSON format itself because it is better in the performance and easier in the implementation as well. It stores a key value pair in a non-relational database. Key value pair means first thing is the value which you will store and to access that and to search that there will be a unique key. So using this key value pair, the fetching of the data will be faster and easier. So let's see a practical implementation where we will do some of the operations using this index DB. All right, now what I'm going to do here is to create a simple index database in my web browser. So whenever I'll create that, obviously first thing is the compatibility, which will be there if you have the latest browser. And here I'm going to set a couple of things like index DB, like for the various browsers, index DB, Mozilla for WebKit or for Microsoft. All right. So you can pass multiple options. So if your index DB is compatible with the browser that will set here in this windows dot index DB. Similarly, then you will set the IBD, IDB that is index database transaction and the key range. After setting these basic features for the different browsers, what I'm going to do here is to generate my database. Obviously, if these things are not there as the first thing which I do is index DB. So if not window.indexdb means if none of these values are compatible, then obviously this value, this thing is not going to work. All right. Now, after that, the first thing which I can do here is to create my database. So for that, you can consider this line first. All right. Or let me just put this particular thing at the top. So here, once I'm done with the data, I will create a database. I will open a database for my browser called MyDB. If it is already created, then it will open that one. Otherwise, it will create a new. In this case, it's going to create a new. All right. And then here is the data where I have entered two records, which will be there once I will enter. Obviously, I haven't entered yet. So when I'll do, I will just call this particular object. Now for various options, I have taken this DB variable. So as here you can see, while creating it, I have taken a variable called request. So obviously, whenever I will do something with this particular database, I will have to go for this object reference. So if in case there is any error, then in that particular case, it will this on error method will work. And on that particular thing, this e function will be called. All right. So it will just print an error in the console.log. All right. And if it is success, then in that particular case, there will be request.result. All right. Means the particular name that is your IDB transaction, IDB database will be there in the DB and that will get printed in the console.log because it is index database. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I will put some data in my variable in my database. So for that here again, I'm using request dot on upgrade needed on upgrade needed means if you want to do some changes and you can see 
right there what I'm going to do I'm going to create an object store with the name employee all right employee you can consider it as the name of the table where I will have a key value if you have the idea of database you know something primary key for doing some unique operations so key path is ID because here I have ID field in my EMP data but I haven't introduced my employee data yet but obviously I will do that inside this for loop so for I in employee data so what it will do it will just add the data from that employee data one by one in this object store so it will create an object store you can create multiple like here I have given a name employee you can give some other names alright and you can add multiple object store in the very same way you can create different data for different stores now till this particular point I am done with creation of database and then inserting the data the next thing which I would like to do is to click on this button in order to do the read operation all right so what I'll do here in there inside the script I will generate a method called read all and here you can see I have created a read all function so what this read all function is doing it is trying to read all the existing records from the database from the index database from the IDB so here again I have taken a variable obviously it's local so obviously you can change the name from object store to something else so here I'm reading that object store all the fields so what I'm doing DB transaction here the name of your object store which I have created so that must be same and out there I'm reading the employee object store so now how this reading will take place through the cursor basically this cursor is something which will keep on pointing the data the latest one and then it will continue means it will move to next so when you will say open cursor it will start pointing the first record of that target set of the result set all right so once you get the data you can read the id all right cursor dot key the name age and email all right why I said cursor dot key because the key path is set to ID so when you will say cursor dot key it will read the ID field of your record so obviously I have the ID field so that particular thing will be read and since here you can see this is nothing but a cursor so it will keep on rotating unless and until all the records have been read so let's save this and come to the browser and let me click on read all so you can see there is name for ID 01 is name age email you will say ok similarly at that time 02 again name age and email record reading is done so it's saying no more entries all right so I'll say read all it's saying the first that is 01 anadi age email ID similarly when I say ok again the second record 02 name age and email ID when I'll say ok it is not showing anything so basically I'm just reading the time it is providing me the record once it is done this function this cursor will be terminated now this is how you can read the things if you want to add a data obviously I have a button for that for adding the data so for that I'm going to create one more method one more function here in the JavaScript called add and for that here is the definition so again I'm going to make a request for the transaction for this employee object store alright and there I will call the add function inside that add I'm going to keep the same fields that is ID name age email so that I can read that as well so once you will click over this button that record will be added in the existing employee object store alright so on success uh, you will get this particular message but let's say if you have added that again if you try to add that again 
there will be duplicacy because I have already set this as a key the ID field is as a key so as soon as you will enter a duplicate record it will not accept and will give you the error alright so let's see that execution in the browser so let me just click on add the record would be added when I'll say read all again it will start from the beginning 0 1 0 2 okay I didn't refresh that so let's click on add data so Mohit has been added to your database let's click on read all name in the first first record second record and the third record is added so this is how you have performed the couple of options now I'll go and click over this cl read button and what I want in that so it will just read the particular data means it will be a kind of search operation so here I have added another method called read and now you can see again I went for the same object store employee and there I am trying to get the ID 03 alright which I just added with the name Mohit alright so here is 03 which I have already added and I am trying to retrieve that so what it will do if you are trying to read the, make a request for this one so here I am specifying that in the request so what this request is doing object store means from that object store it will get 03 when you will pass 03 that simply means it is the key using which you are trying to make a search so in during the execution if there is any error then obviously you will get this particular message unable to retrieve data but uh, I think I don't have any errors so it will be success and if it is successful then you will get the particular record but if that particular record is not there then obviously we will get a message Mohit could not be found in your database but for now I have just added so it should be there so let me just refresh this let me click here so it shown me the record all right so again if I click on add data it will say unable to add data Mohit is already exist Mohit is already existed in your database all right so here is that now the final operation in the CRUD is the delete so basically what I can do in the delete I will try to delete the same record means the 03 again for deleting I will pass the specific ID using which I will perform the deletion and now here I have created the remove function for the same the starting is bit same as of the searching first I am making a request for that employee object store and here I am calling the delete alright what I have done earlier earlier I have called add function and here I made get method alright I request I used get method here I used add method but now since I am going I want to delete I said delete method and pass the key out there alright and on success it will give you a message that that particular entry has been removed so I have already called this particular method here on the delete data method the delete data button so let's save and refresh here uh, let's click on read the data is there but now I have deleted that and now when I'll click it again it will say Mohi could not be found in your database so again when I'll say read all you will only get two records again I can add and can read all right so these are the various things which you can perform while working with index db so it is a very simple example as i said i have just created a single object store you can store multi you can create multiple object store and you can put as many as data as you want and multiple data will give you more challenges to perform some operations so you keep trying and it will be easy practice for you so this is how you do with the index database with html5 tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning